Is Minecraft dying? This is a question I've been asked a lot recently, a question I've asked myself recently, and a question I've seen all my friends talking about. So I thought I'd make this video to kind of share my opinions and my ideas on the topic, and let's hop on into it. Alright, so this video will be structured into three different parts. The first part will be about the history of Minecraft and its current analytics and numbers using a website called Google Trends. The second part will be about the current state of Minecraft and what I believe are its current problems. And then finally, the third part of this video will be about the future of Minecraft and where I think the game is going. So, part number one, analytics. Alright, so what you're looking at on screen is a graph of the amount of times the term Minecraft has been searched in like ever. And by ever, I mean by like 2008 to now. Now, the tool I'm using for this is called Google Trends. It's a publicly available website. I'll have a link to it in the description of the video below. So feel free to check my graph for yourself and make sure everything is accurate. And again, that link will be in the description. All right, so if you take a look at this graph here, what you're going to be looking at is back here is the year 2008, and it goes all the way to the current time of basically December 2016. Now, back here in 2008, 2009, there was no search results for Minecraft, which makes sense because Minecraft didn't exist then. It was, you know, still an idea, not just head. Now, come around September, August of 2010, Minecraft started to get a few search results. And this was when YouTubers like X's Adventures of Minecraft, The Young's Cast, started making videos on Minecraft. Now, these search, you know, trends, these search results, so are going up and up and up. More and more people started searching for Minecraft. And then in about September of 2011, it peaked big time. Minecraft had a huge bump in search traffic, and it just continued to go up and up and up until the year of about July 2013. And this was Minecraft's peak. And whenever something reaches a peak, the only place to go is pretty much down. So from July 2013, Minecraft started losing search interest very slowly, but it did happen down and down and down. In about actually 2014, it really took a downfall. It went from 99 all the way down to 70 and just plummeted forward from there, actually. All the way down and down and down to where it is now at a search ranking of 34. Now, 34, if you look at the graph, is pretty much dead on to where it was in May of 2011, which was way before the giant Minecraft explosion happened. Now, there have been a few peaks in the graph here and there, like on December 2014, July of 2015, April of this year. But my point here is that Minecraft is at its lowest when it comes to searches in almost ever, way before Minecraft had its giant popularity boom back in 2011. And that's not necessarily a good thing. Part 2, Minecraft's current problems. Okay, so yes, less people are searching for Minecraft today than almost ever before, but why is that? Now obviously there's no concrete answer to this, but I do have my theories and ideas on the topic. And I believe it's simply because of the lack of content and updates that Minecraft has gotten over the past few years. And yeah, I do know that Minecraft has had quite a few updates in the past year. You, you've got, you know, the polar bear update, the ice update, you have some villages updates. But the game's pretty much remained stagnant for a few years now. And let me explain what I mean by that. Now, back in June 2010, Minecraft entered the alpha stage. And this was back when it released for the first time ever available to the public. I do believe it was June or July of 2010, if I recall correctly. And YouTubers started picking up on it. It started to gain traction. And development on the game was crazy at this time. It was, it was insane. In just a period of a month, July 2010... We had a crazy amount of content added into the game. I'm going to read all this content all from a list because there's a bunch of stuff. But all of this stuff was added in just one month. One month, all of the following items were added into the game. We have redstone, redstone ore, levers, buttons, iron doors, pressure plates, boats, cactuses, sugar cane, books, bookshelves, chicken, jukeboxes, music discs, etc. All of that was added into the game in just one month. And that's not even all of it. There's much, much more. All of that in one month. And not long after that, on Halloween of that year, we had the Nether update, which added in the Nether into the game. With tons of, well, first off, a brand new dimension, but also tons of new blocks, items, mobs. It changed the game quite a bit. And then less than a year after the Nether update, we had the Adventure update. Minecraft version uh, 1.8, I believe. Uh, beta version 1.8. And the Adventure update changed the game completely. Brand new mechanics, food, hunger, all that awesome stuff changed completely. Now, you might be asking, what's my point to all this? And my point is that Minecraft has gotten very few changes and updates and content patches over the past few years. In fact, let's, let's take a look at this. 
All right, so what you're seeing on screen is the release and update history for Minecraft. So down here, we have the beta versions along with the, you know, release date along with the versions. Um, beta 1.2, beta 1.1, alpha versions. And check out, this is what I was talking about before. This was all like one month here. Look at all these updates. One month, all these updates, pretty much all of them added something new into the game. But uh, you'll notice development started to slow a little bit. Started to get a little slow once the game actually released. 2012, 2013, 2013, 2014. And then 1.8 came out in 2014. And pretty much all of these updates here, they didn't really add anything into the game. They were pretty much just patches to fix stuff. 2014, September 2nd. And then the next big update to Minecraft, which really added anything, was February 29th of this year. That's almost like, that's like a year and a half. That's a year and a half of no updates or content added to the game. And since then, we've had polar bears and llamas added into the game. I mean, compare this, all right? Compare this. This is two years, actually almost three years. Um, no, well, two and a half years almost. Compare that to all of this. Like, what happened to the updates? Like, where, where did this go? Where did, where did the updates go? And on top of that, the content updates we have gotten over the past year or so have been pretty lackluster. I mean, we have gotten cool changes to the end. We've gotten elytras added into the game. Those are cool. Uh, we've gotten llamas added into the game. But compared to past updates, it's pretty much nothing. The last big content update, 1.9, uh, it was so divisive, it split the community. Half the community hated the new PvP system. Half the community loved it. It had some pretty, actually, groundbreaking stuff that I can't believe Mojang passed through. But... Regardless, 1.9 happened, and none of the big Minecraft servers really even use it. I know there's a few games on Mineplex and Hypixel that make use of the combat system, but, I mean, all in all, they're all using the old 1.8 combat system still. So to recap part two, we've gotten less updates over the past couple years than we ever have before, and the content updates we have gotten have been pretty meh. They've been pretty lackluster. And so, what happened? Like, can we please get some more content updates, some more patches into the game? Can we go back to 2010, where you added a heap of new items and blocks into the game in just a span of one month? Part 3, The Future of Minecraft. Okay, so I'm sorry if up to this point I've made The Future of Minecraft look pretty bleak and depressing, because it might not actually be. So what you're seeing on screen is the sales data for Minecraft as of June 2016. Now, as of June of this year, Minecraft has sold more than 106 million uh, 859,714 copies, with an average of 53,000 copies sold per day. That is a lot of copies. But the interesting thing about these cells is what platforms these cells are taking place on. As you can see on the image on screen, the majority of Minecraft copies were sold on mobile and console editions, not on the PC. And this brings me to my theory about the future of Minecraft. I believe that Minecraft is shifting from a more predominantly PC play game to a game played more on mobile and console. So what I believe is happening is that more players are playing on their mobile devices and console devices than ever before. And any new players who are coming to the game and playing Minecraft for the first time, they're doing so on their console and mobile devices such as a phone or tablet. So what does this mean for the future of Minecraft? I don't know. And why is it that despite great sales, Minecraft is losing popularity and interest on the internet? I, I don't really know that either. So is Minecraft dying? I think in its current form and state, yes, I think Minecraft is dying. I believe the numbers and analytics support that. But I don't believe Minecraft is, is going away any soon. I just think its current form and the form we're used to seeing it as is, is losing popularity. I mean, Minecraft still has great sales numbers, especially for a game that is almost seven years old now. So, people will be playing Minecraft for a long, long time to come. But that is the thing, though. Minecraft is almost seven years old, and it's pretty much the same game as it was a few years ago. And maybe people are just getting tired of it. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Minecraft is dying? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up on your way out. It really does help me out, and I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and turn on notifications. That way you'll be notified whenever new streams or videos come out for the channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!